Hey folks, Rob with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we are here with Nick and his Ford Mustang, and he's going to tell you a little bit about it, tell you about uh, the horsepower and why uh, he was drawn to this car. And uh, you know, it's really cool because Nick, you were telling me you're 22. Yep, I'm 22. 22 years old. years old. So it's great to see the young folks getting involved in cars and loving cars and going to the car shows. I, I just, I love it so much. So I'm gonna turn it over to Nick and let him tell you about his car. Take it away, buddy. I'm Nick, I'm from Montgomery, Minnesota. And this is my 04 Cobra. So the story goes is back when I was about six, seven years old, when this car came out, saw pictures of it, and instantly fell in love. I've been into cars my whole life, playing with Hot Wheels and going to car shows. And back in 2007, I believe it was, my dad bought an 04 GT, and that's the first car I remember him taking me a ride in and instantly fell in love, felt so fast. And my dad ended up getting rid of that for a huge string of cars, a 07 Plum Crazy Purple Charger Daytona, two different 2013 Camaro SS's. One of them I actually got my first ticket in when I was 16. Um, Mega Cab Cummins, all sorts of fun stuff. And then back when I was looking at to buy these cars, I was originally looking for them when I was 20 years old. Like I, I got the tattoo on my arm when I was 18 of the car. It's like I want one. Uh, Let's see that wait. tattoo then. So you, so you had to. Uh, then you were kind of committed. We had to get the, yep. the car to match the tat. Yep. All right, gotcha. <laughs> so I was looking around all over the country to find one because I originally wanted a Sonic Blue or Dark Shadow Gray because those are my okay. two favorite colors, and they just weren't in the price range for what I wanted. And I found the Craigslist ad for this one, and I sent the ad to it to my friend's group chat on Facebook. Oh my like, God, this would be cool to have. And that was that. A couple days later, I call up my buddy Nick. I'm like, hey, you want to come with me to look at a Cobra? He's like, yeah. You remember the one I sent to the group chat a couple days ago? It's like, no way, it's that one? I'm like, yup. All right, I'm coming with. All right, I'll pick you up. I'll be there in 20 minutes. Uh, and you told me, though, that when the fella took you for a test drive, he didn't let you drive it, he took nope. you for a test drive. But what did he ask you to do before making him an offer? He told me to wait at least an hour after I left there to make sure I would my nerves would calm down and I could make a rational decision. I can see Nick there just watching the time, counting down the time, and after oh, that yeah, hour you did second. what? Oh, I texted him like I need the car. I'm gonna go in the bank tomorrow and get the check. Now, now, tell me about the horsepower. What is this putting out now? So right now it's putting out 750 horsepower to the tires. 750 runs okay. on 85. And what do you plan on doing to the car? Do you have plan immediate future well, plans for it that you want to do? Or yeah, I gotta pay off some bills first. Right, right, right. Well, you are young still, so yep, money's yep. tight. Yep. Considering I just moved out of my mom's house yesterday. Oh, oh, okay, so, okay. And came to a car show today yep. before yep. even moving into the new place. I, I like yep. your priorities. I like your car show oh, first. Yeah. The day of moving yesterday, I went to another <laughs> car show. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Triggering oh, what my plans win. are is it's still yeah. the factory well, cooling well, system. I want to upgrade that a little bit. Mill. Okay. Change up the exhaust a little bit. I want to try and get yeah, to about 800 to 850 horsepower. So it still have stock charger. exhaust in it or is it, nope. has it been it's uh, massaged a full also? It's exhaust. Okay. It has mid-length headers on it now, which is one of the biggest restrictions on this car right, right now. Right, right. Yep. Which I've been told by the guys who built the car at DB Performance, which they're fantastic guys. Right. Anyone with a Mustang in the area, I think, should go up to them. Great people. Okay, cool, cool. But, so, and then on the wheels, you were telling me about the different wheels as well. Yep. That these are, they're not stock, they are aftermarket, but... Nope. They're called True Forge Sleepers. It's a two-piece wheel, and when I bought the car, I never heard of them. Okay. And I kept looking around and trying to figure something out. 
they were some of the top of the line wheels back in the day and i think these wheels were what like two three grand for a set back in the day okay very expensive wheels but they look phenomenal they do they're really cool wheels they they then they go with the silver oh yeah car very so well now i noticed too you've got different you've got uh gauges on the inside were those factory or have nope. those been add-on those were added on by one of the previous owners which okay this car surprisingly enough has had I am the ninth registered owner of this car. It started out okay. in nope. Texas. It's been to oh. South Carolina, okay. Iowa, uh, Colorado, a couple other states. I but can't even. You were also saying it's pretty low mileage, though. It's a 15-year-old car. Yep, and it's got 55,900 miles on it. Okay. And how I long bought, have you owned it? Two years. You can tell I bought it with 46,800 miles. On okay. It. So All right. I'm about 10,000. So you miles drive it, enjoy it. This, oh, yeah. Is this your only car? No, I okay. actually, I've had a whole string of cars okay. since I could drive right. and I was okay. able to afford my own vehicle. Right. But right now I got this car, an 09 Corolla, okay. still trying to sell, nobody wants that thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if you drop in 700 horsepower, somebody will. I wish. <laughs> You'd keep it then. Yeah, at that point I would. You get another Corolla, you get a Toyota uh, <laughs> yeah. statue over here. And then I got a... 1995 F350 okay. cab long box with right. 73. Well, you live down in Montgomery. I know the area, so it's uh, you could use that in that yep. area for it's a super weekend. desirable truck too. So right. people always say, "How do you have such nice things?" Right. Right. I, I looked around. I found that truck down in Oklahoma. It was a Texas truck. Oh wow! Okay. Me and Nick, the guy that helped me get this car. Yeah. What is it? We took two days to go down to Oklahoma, get the truck, and come back. Okay. Wow. So you've got two Fords and a Toyota, I'm safe to say you're probably a Ford guy. Yep. I've been and, a Ford guy uh, my life, my whole family. Uh, definitely the Mustang essentially. guy. Yep. What's next? Like, any car that you could have, what would you do? Or what would what car would it be or what would you do to this one if resources were no object? Well, I think next big car purchase I'd like once I'm financially stable a little bit older. Uh -huh. My buddy Nick, he has a 68 Mustang Coupe. Oh boy. My buddy Nate has okay. a 64 Ford Falcon. Okay. I've been getting into Mopars. I would love okay. a 69 GTX. Ooh. Oh, really? Like oh, B5 yeah. or B7. What color? B5 or B7. Okay, okay. okay. That, that's my favorite color. Okay. I like, I've seen them in uh, that purple, was it, what they call it. Um, crazy purple? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I've seen one. That was the color of my dad's 07 day. Was it? Oh, yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, you know what, Nick? Thank you for sharing your car with us. This is a 2004 uh, Mustang Cobra. Huge. Oh, one thing I wanted to hit real quick. I took a picture of it. Who signed the valve cover over here? Those were all the guys that helped build the motor at DB Performance. Okay. At DB uh, Performance. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. And you highly recommend those guys. They do a great yeah. job. Right. Yeah. A lot of people out here have actually been up there before. Awesome. I've, I've never heard a bad thing about those guys. Well, you know, it's a cool car. I'm just so happy that we've got the young folks involved in the uh, car shows and collecting cars and stuff like that. Nick, thank you so much for sharing your car with us. Pleasure. Yeah, we certainly appreciate it too. Pleasure. Thank you.